Welcome to Trending with Trent. I'm Trent Gilbreth, digital reporter at 11 Alive, with your take on all things trending and bright in the world of entertainment, and at times troublesome. Refer to my rants on Kanye West, Aaron Rodgers, and Shawn Mendes over on AtlantaAndCompany.com. But for now, let's go back in time to a simple, pure television landscape of TGIF and TNBC greatness. I'm talking about those sweet sitcoms and fresh-faced characters that will forever stay with us. From Boy Meets World, to Panga and Corey's heart-wrenching ski trip that ended in heartbreak, and later college years that took us to marital bliss in an on-campus apartment, and of course, Mr. Fine, Fine, who followed them in each chapter of their academic life. Plus, Saved by the Bell. Every iteration counts. I'm talking the Gen Z reboot with Jesse and Slater included, but I personally loved the new class and wish I was on one of their camping and glamping trips as we speak. Remember when Liz and Ryan kissed in Paris? My seven-year-old Gaby self knew what love was at that very moment. Think Full House, Hang Time, City Guys, Two of a Kind, the list goes on and on, as if we're in one of those 90s dreamlike sequences with a fuzzy purple border. And now, guys, the 90s, they're back. Not just Gen Z wearing scrunchies and low-rise jeans, but your favorites just assembled at 90s con for major show reunions. I've been lucky enough to chat with a few of those greats from this golden age, including Mr. All That himself of Kenan and Kel fame and longest tenured Saturday Night Live cast member, Kenan Thompson. Here's what he had to say about his grade A acting in those early days. If you could transport to one set for a day, would it be All That, Mighty Ducks, or the great Keenan and Kel? I would go with Mighty Ducks only because I have, I don't get to see those folks much. Me and my boys can take you anytime, anywhere. I don't see no boys. I got them waiting. Grab your gear and let's go play some schoolyard puck. I would love to like just be a fly on the wall and watch us one day, like how we all used to be on top of each other because we used to have hockey practice every day. You know what I mean? So we were just like living with each other for real, like, like any other production, you know what I mean? But that was my first taste of that. Ducks, ducks, ducks. Can I hear it, Connor, Kevin? Mighty Ducks for the forever win. Keenan not only has his long running SNL gig, but also stars in a self-titled family comedy set right here in Atlanta, Keenan's Second season airs Monday nights on 11 Alive and streaming on Peacock. Now back to that thank God it's Friday lineup and it's crown jewel, I like to think so. Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Yes, we loved Melissa Joan Hart as Clarissa explaining it all, but there was something oh so magical pun intended, about Sabrina's high school adventures and witch training into the other realm. She's now a mom of three, starring in Lifetime movies and producing this podcast and that series, but I'll always ship Harvey and Sabrina right there. Have big love for Caroline Ray's Aunt Hilda and Salem the Talking Cat, and am thrilled that they all reunited at 90s Con. Let's see what Melissa Joan Hart had to say about their big anniversary. How is it celebrating 25 years since you launched that spellbinding phenomenon? You know, it's been amazing. It's been an amazing run. Um, that was seven years of my life, some of the best years of my life. And, um, and it, you know, people come up to me all the time and say, I grew up with you, or I learned English from watching your show, or I, you know, felt a little bit more normal because I related to your character. So, you know, the, the feedback we get from that show is nothing but love. So it's, it's great. I just love her. Now let's talk sitcom greats to soap legends. You know and love Jack A. Harry as belovedly sassy mom Lisa on Sister Sister. But she just wrapped her first year at NBC's Days of Our Lives playing real estate mogul Paulina Prince. Price but she is a princess. I'm thrilled for her to say the least as Sands continue to go through the hourglass in Salem. But of course I had to ask her about her time on Tia and Tamara Maury's iconic show and the possibility of, of course, the R word reboot. Take a look. Miss Jackie, I gotta ask, I know we've been talking about it with all these reboots and in the past couple of years, hearing from Tia and Tamara, will there ever be a sister sister reunion? Like it's just, it's on everywhere. Yeah, no, thank God. I was like, who is that? Oh, every time I see it, I go, oh, I do. I go, oh, and the twins, now they go like that. They go, oh, Jackie. Girls, no matter how far I may walk, I'll never be too far. I'll pop you upside your head in case you start thinking you grow. <laughs> She is an icon, legend, and star. Be sure to tag at 11 Alive and at ATL and Co. in your ultimate 90s nostalgia. It's been my honor revisiting these fierce favorites with you. I'm Trent Gilbreth, and this was Trending with Trent.